Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I know it's been a while, but I'm back for spring break now, so I have another week to do as much work as I can. Um, previously, you saw me pretty much lay out the whole body in cardboard. Now I have everything disassembled. I'm gonna move the chassis over to the wood shop and start making the wooden buck out of this cardboard. All right, so I've got most of the cardboard reassembled here. So I'm gonna take this big piece of plywood here and start turning this into wood. I'm pretty much just gonna start up here at the grill and work my way back.
Okay, so I got the piece for the dashboard section cut out here. And one of the things I wanted to ensure was that this area here that kind of bubbles around the steering wheel is a nice consistent radius all throughout. Um, so what I did for that was I just kind of screwed this piece of wood on there. I made a mark right there so I can trace that mark all along the outside edge and I can sand it down where it, where it has to be so that I can have that a consistent radius. And that turned out very nicely so what I'm going to do now is cut out the middle of this so that I'll have the dashboard and I can actually put my feet through there and everything. Then I'll put it back on the car and then connect it to the firewall section. Okay, so as you can see, I got that dashboard piece in there now, um, and I laid out some cardboard that are going to be the templates for the wood that I'll put in there very soon. Um, so I have some lines laid out on those, so I'm going to take these pieces out one by one and make the wood and template. All right, so I got all of these pieces cut out and clamped up now. Um, it looks pretty simple, but this was actually pretty complicated because almost all of the cuts on either end of these pieces are compound cuts. They have to be cut at a certain angle relative to this surface and relative to this surface here because as you can see here where they line up, this isn't a perfect 90 degree angle. So if I want this to match up to that nicely, I can't cut it at 90 degrees. Same with over here too, just by looking at this you can see that's clearly not 90 degrees. Um, but I got them all clamped up there. You can see they stick out here and this lays on there just perfectly. No gaps on any of them. So I'm ready to fasten these together now. I'm going to put a screw through this side into the ends of those boards um, and then probably one um, right here clamping that together. So that's what I'm going to do now.
All right, well, I got the buck pretty much finished, and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I love the way the bo boat tail turned out, um, especially so that when, when you look from the back, it really, it really looks very streamlined. And that's something that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get that look because I made it so wide. Uh, but I think it turned out excellent. Um, the next step, obviously, is to um, make an aluminum body over this. So that's going to be the project for the summer. I'm, gonna plan I'm planning on making my own English wheel, and then we'll get some aluminum sheets, and I can practice a little bit. Um, but ideally, I, I want to make the body out of aluminum. I think that would be awesome. Um, one thing I did up here that you didn't see is originally this this piece right here was what I had on the very front. And I didn't really like how square it looked. It's only one inch taller than it is wide, so that's basically a square. Um, I wanted to look a little bit more narrow and, and taller. So what I did was I cut out an inch and a half from this piece just right out of the middle um, and brought that together. So this piece is an inch and a half um, narrower than before. And then so I narrowed this piece by almost two inches and heightened it a little bit. So now this piece that's on the front there now is almost four inches taller than it is wide, um, which gives it that, that more narrow look. And the other thing, after I did that, um, there was a gap in between the hood and the inside of the frame here because the frame was wider before. So I actually narrowed the front of the frame four inches or so. That's going to be a separate video. Um, but I think by doing that, it really makes that front end look a lot narrower still because beforehand, the size of the frame rails were like were sticking all the way out and it just looked kind of awkward. But I think that the way it looks right now is exactly what I was going for. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.